Hey there, Figma is well known user interface design software. But can we use it as a vector editor? Let's find out. When we create a new document in Figma, there will be no artboard. In opposite to Adobe Illustrator or Affinity Designer. So we need to set up the very first artboard using the frame tool. Normally, designers that aim to design interface, they will create multiple frames, multiple screens. In our case, we just need one. So let's make it big enough. So let's search for the desktop. And then we can select a screen from here. So let's select a desktop here, the classic one. And here it is. That's our first artboard. And we can also customize the size on the right side. So we can change it to like full HD. So I will type it from the keyboard. I want it 1920 pixel wide and I needed 1080 pixel high. And this way I customize my artboard. I can press command minus to zoom out to see it. I can press command plus to zoom in and command zero will give us 100% value in the zoom. We can also use the right side of the screen to zoom in and out and even type it from the keyboard, right? Now it's 50%, we can type from the keyboard, let's say 65, 65, enter, and you will get this level of zoom. All right, so let's get started with a shape tool. There is a shape tool over here. We got rectangle, if you hold shift, you will get the perfect ratio. There's of course a line tool. If you hold shift, it will jump like that, sticking to certain angles. This arrow tool, so there's just another version of the line tool with the arrow head. Ellipse, same deal like before, just hold shift for proportion. We got polygon tool, so we can have a triangle, but we can of course use the polygon tool and modify how many sides do we got here, right? So we can have four, five, six, seven, eight. As you can see, I'm using the design panel on the right side. What else can we draw from this shape selection menu? There's a star as well. And it's similar deal for the star. We got default star like that, but we can change how many arms we want. So we can type from the keyboard. We can type seven, enter, but we can hover the mouse above this little icon, click, and then you can drag left or right. And don't need to worry about staying in this area. Just drag left or right to adjust how many arms you need. There's also a corner radius option. So we can round corners. And did you just notice? I push it all the way to the right and my mouse pop up another side of the screen. That's really handy. All right, so we can change the radius. What else is here? Rotation. We can rotate the object from this menu. And there's also one more. Take a look. We can change the angle like inside to make it wider at the center. We can click the previous drawn shape, like this rectangle, and from the design panel on the right, we can, we can change the fill color easily. Take a look. We got a nice color spectrum. So you can modify the fill color from here, even after we draw the shape. This opacity of the fill, and we can switch the visibility of it on and off. If you don't want a solid fill color, you can also put a gradient inside, no problem. And as you can see, the gradient can also use the alpha channel so we can go towards transparency. So that's nice. And you can use this corner radius as well to get your corners rounded. And if you want to have more control, you can click this icon next to it, independent corner radius, when you can decide for each corner separately. So I can type here 200 and here 200 and I end up with shape like a leaf. 
All right. So as you can see, it's totally fine to create simple illustration directly in Figma. We don't need to use any third party software. We don't need to pay for subscription or anything like that. We can use all of those basic shapes. We can modify them and combine them together. All right. So let's flip this this way. Okay, I'm going to use this star I drew before. So let's add even more arms. Nice. Okay, that's my little star. I'm going to place it somewhere here. Let's get rid of those unnecessary elements by selecting them and clicking delete on keyboard. So I'm using this star as a flower here. All right, then we can place this element. And here's the problem. The element we draw before is under this shape. So take a look in the layer panel. We can simply pull it up. So it will be above this element. No problem. Changing the fill color. We already know how to do that. We don't need this shape. We don't need this one. And let's finish up with a simple rectangle. All right, so we assembled this rather ugly flower, but we did it directly in Figma without any deep understanding of tools and operation just yet. But we can take this further so we can use operations like in any other vector software. Take a look. Let's draw two shapes. That's the classic combo. <laughs> Rectangle, the square one, and the perfect circle. All right. Now I'm going to select them both together. And you may notice we got some options at the top right now. And if I open this menu, I got four different options. I can use the union selection and now they become unify. So they are like one shape now. Let's undo with control Z. The second option is subtract. So the shape at the top will subtract, make a hole in the shape below. Very handy. Then we can intersect. So only the common part will be left. And we can also do the XOR. So the intersecting part is gone and everything else is still here. So just by using basic shapes, modifying them in designer and combining them, we can create multiple simple icons to use in our design without even leaving Figma. But there's more. There's the proper pen tool within Figma. So take a look. Pen tool allow us to draw any custom shape and those custom shapes can be used as building blocks for any illustrations we want. So keep in mind, we got proper shapes, pen tool, and all of the geometry operations we need to construct basic vector illustrations directly in Figma. In the future tutorials, I will explore those features deeper and show you exactly how we can use them to get certain effects. There will be also a separate video about pen tool in Figma as well. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more tutorials like this one. And I will see you next time. Bye.